The Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. These men are thugs. What do you expect? What's lighting up? This thing. So this should be less creepy. One will hope. I don't know if it'll be any... anything from the plane, have you? No, nothing recent anyway. Is that the other side of this door? That's the courtyard. Let's go back. Yeah, I want that. Want the loot? Crafting supplies. Pages from Lord Marl's journal. One of the villa's formal owners, the current occupants, tossed it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. I could have a Templar to dinner and they would be none the wiser. If the Templars haven't gone off to do maker knows what, I might try it. Valerie complains, but the Empress herself has such an advisor. Why not me? His services are useful and no one could better ensure our security. No matter, the distractions of the city will ease her mind soon enough. So a mage advisor. Might not have been the best idea. All right, courtyard. Um, I was like, were there more? Da, ah, where'd you come from? Letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Maleficent. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services in Impriest de Leon. Could always use a few more. Be discreet. Maleficent's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his soldiers. Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. They wanted something. It's still here. Okay. I'm guessing that was the man who We struck a blow against the Freeman. They chose the wrong friends. Chantry's candle stub. Okay. Some flowers. Did we? We didn't come in that way. No. Okay. Crystal Grace. We should look around. Exalted March of the Dales. The Chantry's story of the Exalted March of the Dales paints the picture of the righteous faithful arrayed against heathen savages. But I have long studied the Dales, and I find the acceptable version of the tale to be a poor one, laden with over-pro-Chantry and pro-human biases. Thus, it is my moral imperative to propose an alternate interpretation, that the Exalted March of the Dales was nothing more than an expansionist ploy hiding behind the mask of faith. It is easy to see on any map how large the Dales are. More importantly, they stand between Orlais and the rest of the South and would likely have represented a significant obstacle to the Empire's expansion into Ferelden. Naturally, we stood to benefit from propagating the narrative of a hostile, unreasoning people attacking innocent missionaries and making blood sacrifices of good Andrastian babies. The likely truth is that the elves merely wish to maintain sovereignty over lands promised to them by blessed Andraste herself, when the humans showed clear intent to undermine their autonomy. Of course, the elves reacted by becoming increasingly isolationist, which suited the empire perfectly. Here was a kingdom that spurned diplomatic overtures and that refused to lend aid during the second blight, when the darkspawn attacked Montezamard. The Dalish kingdom could not be anything but a dormant threat, 
one that needed to be crushed before it awoke. Scholars point to the massacre at Red Crossing as the impetus for the Chantry's declaration of an exalted march on the Elven Kingdom in the Dales. They conveniently ignore the fact that no one alive truly knows what happened at Red Crossing or why the Elves attacked. The Chantry's response to the Elven aggression that resulted in the slaughter of hundreds was predictable, but in light of my thesis, perhaps we should re-examine the events of Red Crossing and wonder if the attack was truly unprovoked or whether it is possible that someone saw benefit in sacrificing an entire village to justify the subjugation of an entire people. A new perspective on the Exalted March pamphlet by an anonymous author published by the University of Orlais. So... Part of a key. There's a rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. That person went conspiracy theory, which... Grave rune key required. It's not so accurate. Ooh, some good stuff in there. A letter to Maleficent. Maleficent, I'm sending men to discuss some changes. It's nothing dire. You'll find the demands perfectly reasonable. We're willing to compensate you for any inconvenience. I want our relationship to be mutually beneficial. It's been going so well, each of us with our crusades. See. Who is this? See. Oh. I had to reload the game, so I already picked that up, I just realized. Um Oh you're right, we need the we need the stuff. Is there anything over here real quick? Yes. Malephant's journals. Kept several journals, this one appears recently written. I don't know what we're doing anymore. Our hearts were pure when we started. I have to wonder if we've lost our way. The Templars are terrifying. When I speak to the Night Captain, I feel uneasy. There's something unsettling about his eyes and voice. They keep making offers. More shipments to guard, more men to be escorted to their keep. I just, no, no more grousing. I can't let my doubt show. Others take their cue from me. They must stay strong. It's just for a little while longer. Then we'll get what we want. We'll be free. Yeah. The long walk to Halamshiral. Over 65 of our group made it to Halamshiral. Some gave up, some sickened, especially the little ones. Bandits stalked us. My mother forgave me. I had to steal food. A child fought me for extra scraps of bread. A few days later, I carried her for miles after her legs gave out. She died shivering in my arms. I used to have a master, a mage. He fed me well, never beat me, even taught me how to read so I could do his accounts. But if he had a theory or a spell he wanted to test out, he'd get out his daggers. Have the other servants tie me to a post and carve furrows into my skin. I was so afraid. Every time I was sure I would die, but at worst, I'd collapse, get bandaged up, and lie in bed too weak to move for days. The other slaves visited me in secret to survey the damage. I'd heal just enough before he needed blood again. That is why I traveled from Valdorma to the Dales with nothing but rags on my back. That is why there were 105 of us when we set out, all elven. That is why I fell to my knees and wept when we crossed through the gates of my new home, a village for my people. Anonymous account of the long walk as told to Brother Pekor of Ferelden. Circa 140 Ancient. Cassandra. Knock that in for me. Let's just head on in here. Red Lyrian. They must have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Malefin's journals. August and I have established outposts in the Emerald Graves. We are spreading the word to both armies. I'm sick of good Orlesian men and women dying for someone else's cause. It ends now. Orle should belong to us, the people who defend her borders, who till her fields. If we're to fight and kill for something, let it be that. Several pages later. Templars approached us. They are not the order I knew, but they have offered weapons and gold if we help bring their supplies through the Emerald Graves. If we are to free the Dales from the grasp of the nobility, we need what they have to offer. It's a deal with the demon, but our cause is worthwhile. Ugh, if only you knew what you were getting yourself into. Read inscription. An official appraisal. Note addressed to the villa's former owner lies next to an unusual device. Lord Marl. 
I posed a few questions to my contacts in the White Spire, discreetly, of course, lest they want the piece for themselves. From what I can gather, the device, rustically dubbed a lyrium in Pirlan, is meant to restore broken runes. They are not widely used. Some suggest that if the rune were affixed to an object, the device would restore the item itself, although I was unable to confirm the truth of this. This is purely academic, as it requires a mage to function. It is nevertheless a rare piece, prized among the collectors of curiosities. I trust you are pleased with the purchase. Collector and purveyor of unique ephemerae. So we place our key fragments in here. No, it's still not done. Yeah, we don't have enough to finish it. That'll get us into that room. Okay, so we came in from there. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go this way. Another key fragment. Sexuality and Thetis. That is worth a read. If you feel like it, I would recommend it. People need to level. Okay, what's this way? Take that. Lady Mural's diary. Diary of one of the villa former owners. All this fuss over Gaspard and Celine. The talk was amusing enough. Now we hear of conflicts between the Imperial Army and the soldiers supporting that usurper. The thought of them coming here is frightful. Mother is right. Our most fashionable acquaintances will summer in the city. We should do the same. Ramond is stubborn, of course. All his little tricks and trinkets are here. I indulge his eccentric keys, mostly to annoy mother, but we cannot have everything sent to Valrio on such short notice. He does insist we keep Artem on. He refuses to do without the man's services. I suppose he views Artem as another piece of his collection. Still, such devotion to a servant. I don't, I don't know if she knows he's a mage. He might not have told her. Might like to keep that secret. Who knows? Okay. All the doors are open and I don't like it because I can't tell where I have and haven't been now. Front foyer. We were in here, right? Yeah. Might as well go across. That's, yeah, that's the exit. Okay. Dining hall. Stuff over here. Nope. I was like, you better let me loot those bags. They're very obviously loot bags. It's an interesting antler piece. Malefin's journals. I see Lauren's death in my mind all the time. The man who killed her, one of the usurper's soldiers, was familiar. I wouldn't be surprised if I want shared a drink with him. Isn't that how it is now? Brother against brother. The priests tell me to remember Lauren's life, not her death. So I try to recall years past, the countless times she saved me the day we first met when I was a young recruit who almost pissed himself at her barked orders. Because of her, I learned discipline and control. She instilled in me pride in what we did. She taught me how to use a sword. More importantly, she taught me how to keep it sheathed. She was fearless, strong, regal, and she was cut down like a common peasant by someone we may have once known. Will anyone remember her? Will Celine? Some pages later. There's a new soldier in our battalion, Gordian. He's an odd fellow with an accent I can't place, like he'd spent time in the marches. It doesn't matter in the end. He's been a comfort listening to me talk about those who died. He also lost friends in Celine's war, and he's tired like we are. He said a very wise thing. There is no war without soldiers. The Empress can't wage her war if we refuse to fight. Orlais should belong to Orlesians. 
I, I get, I get his sentiment. I really do. Um, I guess we'll go in here. Getting the loot first. Okay, hold on. There we go. Find a way to reassemble the key. Ah! So I think I walked past here? No, okay. Where are we? Okay. A servant's letter. My lord, everything is in order for your departure. I have granted leave to all non-essential staff and arranged transportation for the time you requested. I've taken the liberty of securing the more valuable items in your personal storeroom. I trust you will find everything to your satisfaction, Artem. So, personal storeroom might have been the one that we knocked the wall in? I can jump out here. I don't know that I wanted to. Ah, I was trying to stop you from, from jumping off the edge. Okay, so we just come back around. I was concerned. Okay. Um, where is the storeroom? All the way back here. It's so weird switching to another character because they all kind of have a slightly different gait, which is appropriate, but also just strange. Okay. Oh, so much red lyrium is gross. Um, I did it. Oh, wait, there we go. Requires a mage to operate. Find a use for the ruined key. For the ruined key, not the ruined key. Why have so many things if you never see them? <laughs> Ooh. That is a good question, Cole. That's a very good question. Well, when the former owners come back, they're gonna, you know, love all this. I'm sure. Okay, pretty sure we're done. So, straight ahead and we can get out of here. Where are we headed? Let's let's kind of wrap ourselves around, I guess, and head this way. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to climb out of here. Somehow I wasn't paying attention. It's all walled off. Great. That's a no. Okay. This will work.
It's really nice to be able to pretty much just mow down our enemies. That looks like a good person. Okay. Let's see how we're... Okay, yeah. Just circle down that way. Wait a minute. What is happening here? Speak to Fairbanks. With all the Freeman leaders dead, Fairbanks and his people should feel a lot safer. So now they will move. If I'd noticed that earlier, I might have gone that direction, but I didn't and I'm, I need to branch out more this way. party banter, but I don't know that I want to walk all the way back down there. Oh, that's a rock. I'll take it anyway. I thought it was a chest at first. It had a very similar shape. All right. Let's... I think that'll be fine. Fairbanks! Any news, Inquisitor? Yes. The Freemen have been defeated. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. Perhaps with the Freemen gone, we can find a proper home. Argon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. I've cleaned it out, so you can go in there. I need to be going. Be safe. Inquisitor. Okay. I need to be going. I'll be here. Let's hold on. Okay. I wasn't sure. Um, quest map. Let's go back to where the lodge. Where was the lodge? We cleared that out. Is it up here? No, that's the pavilion. This thing? I think this area, which is fine, because this is the camp where we were. So we'll travel back. And I want to go down here, which is this way. These are people. Safe travels. And it doesn't work. Thanks anyway. I think I'm going the right way. Okay. This is the lodge we cleared out? Yes, maybe? Yes. Good day to you, Inquisitor. Clara. Um, it's nothing Goodbye. new. Goodbye. Fairbanks. They moved here because we did the, um, fast traveled. The Inquisition will always be welcome here. 
I hope things are going well. It's been better since we moved to Argon's Lodge. We're making a difference, especially now that we're helping the Inquisition. Where are you? Did you hear? Maybe. Inquisitor. Tell me about your people. Simple people. No. Most have lost family. Okay. All have lost their homes. Please move along. Of course. Um, she might have had newer supplies. I could go up and go down, but let's just go go down the path. I'll take that. Oh, oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was another villa. I was like, did I go the wrong way? This is fine. Take that. Whirling death. Anything back in this? This is very Tevintery. Nope. There we go. I'll take that. And then just kind of make our way around. This terrain, man. This terrain. Oh, come on. Don't attack us. I was gonna leave you alone. Oh, I was gonna leave you alone. Like you at all. There's one more. He hasn't moved. You sense elven magic somewhere nearby. Of course you do. All right, let's not get as many terror demons out here. Let's do that. Oh. Where is this thing, Solus? Right there, right in front of my face. Activated. Are working. It should be harder for tears to form here. Yeah. Okay. We have, we did this. So, this way. Yeah, we've been in here. That was where we found Samson's letter. 
We just didn't go. We just didn't go back enough to get that. Okay, if it's up on that ridge, so I gotta go this way. Stonewolf Green. Interesting. Ow! White shadow. I camp beneath a large stone statue of a wolf not far from the road. With the calm eyes of the great beast watching over me, I slept like a babe in arms. Again, I don't think that's supposed to be a Fenhorel statue. 